So, as it turns out, uh, Dawn and Jake won't actually be getting here until about 9, 9.30. Because of that, they're not trying to put the tent up in the dark, and I don't blame them. So, they got a room down in Arcata, and Jake is coming up to pick me up, snag me up, and bring me on down. And because of the fact that I'm going to be here for the brush dance, um... There really is no reason for me to rush right off. The next bed down spot that I got planned is only four and a half miles from here. So, um, yeah, I can I pretty much got a free day tomorrow. Free night tonight, free day tomorrow. On Sunday, Sunday, when I wake up, I can just start making my way up through to Oric. And I'll either get there Sunday night or I'll get there Monday night. All right. <sighs> yeah. Alright, yeah, it's about 8 o'clock right now. I gotta strap up and make my way to the front of the park and uh, wait for Jake. So I'm here with Jake and Dawn, and uh, Jake came and picked me up at the campground and brought me back here to Arcata, where they got a room at. And uh, we just stopped at the ATM, we're off to go get some uh, dinner. Well, I've had a great night hanging out with uh, Dawn and Jake. Um, it's really awesome of them to come pick me up and bring me back to the motel. So I got it great night's sleep and this morning this motel you get free breakfast so right on uh definitely needed definitely needed all right i'm gonna wolf this down and then i gotta get back upstairs I gotta repack my pack a little bit and then uh figure out the day it's gonna be an easy day i only got four miles to do uh to get to the next bed down spot and it looks like Jake's actually going to walk with me for those four miles, so that'll be pretty cool, too. <sighs> Alright, yeah, got to wolf this down and get the day begun. Okay. So we got... It's an honor hanging out. Huh? It's been an honor hanging out with you, dude. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's been a freaking pleasure, and thank you guys so much. You pretty much came angels from me. <laughs> right on. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right jake oh. first of all i've got some snacks i totally forgot about that oh right on you can totally have as trail food yeah definitely definitely um, i mean it is peanut and i know i know you love to eat peanut yeah <laughs> yeah peanut i love peanut butter um but there's <laughs> like there's a mixed fruit and nut one here too so oh. it's not it's right not, on. i'm just giving you peanut yeah, um, it's, it's been a wonderful time hanging out with you on our honeymoon man yeah a great great pleasure and i can't wait to go do some miles with you and uh yeah yeah this okay, is pretty cool see, there it's gone wow that's probably the best i've ever done on my signature and it was with a freaking paint pen that's awesome. i'm not kidding dude come look at it love it right on right on hey thank you thank you absolutely bro that's about, that's about We're it. not angels, bro. We're family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome uh, hanging with these two, and I've gotten rested up. I've gotten my stuff charged up, and uh, now I'm going to go get some couple miles done, and Jake's coming with me, so it's going to be pretty freaking cool. So as you can see, we are packed in. There's Jake. <laughs> <laughs> you got Don right there. 
And we got me. <laughs> yeah. Packed in here pretty good, but it's cool. I got leg room. I can't yeah, complain, not a bit. I've been in uh, tighter spots. So now we're on our way to Patrick's Point, where me and Jake will get dropped off, and we're going to hike about four, four and a half miles to uh, tonight's bed down spot right on a lagoon. It's going to be freaking awesome. So, so and Jake and, and Don, uh, the tonight's stealth camp spot. And you're a great little spot, Seth. Yeah, see, I could put my tent up over there. Nobody really sees me from the road because I'm all pretty much covered. And then, uh, yeah, actually go on up over this way. So there's a great spot to pitch the tent. Alright, so we're here on the lagoon where I'm going to be stealth camping at tonight, and uh, I wanted to show Dawn where it was so she knows where to come back and pick Jake up. We're going to end up taking a ride to Patrick's Point, where I last was, to walk from there to here. It's like about four and a half miles. Anyways, we're smoking up, and as always, you're invited, because it's your hit. Where are you? Come, come get, smoke with us. Yes, come smoke with us. Come get this. Don't make us smoke all this weed by ourselves. Come on now. All right, I'm going to um, blaze this up. We're going to get stoned and uh, get ready for this uh, for the, today's walk. Right? Uh, it looks like a makeshift trail, sort of. In the end, looking for a safe spot to cross over. Yep. Yeah, it looks like this used to be a trail. Yeah. Or it still is, and just unmaintained. I think we'll cut up to the road right here by that little white sign. Whatever that little white sign is. Kind of intensive. Yeah. Well, I've had to modify my route because of the, Well, no, I've just had to modify my route because of the fact that I can't do the crest trail. Right. You got to make your points and destinations on time and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I can get more help out here if I need it. It's easier to come and find me. Yeah, that's true. You gotta love signs like that. Yeah. Yeah, the camera doesn't even capture it. No. No, you don't even get to see half of the stuff yeah. in the camera that you're seeing now. Yeah. It's, it's so surreal.
Actually, fucking four miles done today. And thank you. So, I'm here at uh, my spot. Jake should walk with me for four miles. Yeah, it was uh, great. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Totally. Thank you for letting me do um, it. As always, I invite you to find me. Follow me. See where I am. Come smoke with me like Jake has. Because it's your hit. Where are you? Come smoke with me. Come get this. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Find me, follow me, see where I am. Alright. I'm going to smoke this bowl up here with Jake. And then uh, I'm just going to kick back and relax for the rest of the day. And they're going to head on out. And thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you, Don. I'll give you a hug here in a minute. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing to walk these four miles with you. Yeah, it's been a, it's been really awesome. It's uh, the, the the view is amazing. It is, and yeah. it, and the camera shots. I mean, while they bring you here, they just don't do it the justice. Right. I mean, yeah. there's just something about actually being here. Being in it. Yep. And all around you. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna smoke this up and then uh. I'm gonna let these guys get on. Oh, so much fun. So glad to take him with you. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, dropping him off, me and him off, and then coming back to meet up with him. It meant a lot. It, uh, yeah, it makes it a little bit easier. Alright, let's smoke this up. So I decided to trek on up the road just a little bit and look for a better spot. And I think I found it. What do you think? Yeah, I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. All right, it's time for me to, uh, I'm going to smoke up and uh, just enjoy this amazing spot. So it's day 147. It's June 29th, and I'm at mile 882. And this is my morning view. Look at this. Yeah, I can't complain a bit. It's a little chilly, but, you know, um, eh, it's a pretty awesome freaking view. <laughs> Makes it worth it, let me tell you. All right, I got to pack up. I got to hike back about four or five miles to Patrick's Point State Park for the brush dance tonight. Um, it's going to be so freaking cool. And uh, hang out with Dawn and Andy.
So I just saw Don and Andy and got my umbrella back. Yay! And uh, their car was uh, packed a little full. So I'm walking over to the Sumeg Village here in this park to uh, go hang out with them. Uh, tonight there's going to be a brush dance. Um, yeah, this should be pretty cool. All right, let me go meet up with my friends. So I'm here with Dawn. Hi, guys. And uh, Andy's back at the camp. Uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're all set up in the Sumeg. Yeah, Sumeg. In the Sumeg village for the brush dance tonight. And what is the brush dance? Um, like, what I heard is it's kind of like um, healing a kid, um, maybe a couple of kids that are sick. Um, they do it all night long from right after dark until the sun comes up in the morning. Wow. It's all about healing. Oh, right on, right on. And uh, so I won't be shooting any video for this. Um, no. Yeah, no, no, no video. No video allowed, no pictures allowed. Right. It's supposed to be, uh, you need to be there in the moment. Yep. And that's the, got to say, that's pretty damn cool. Our brain's our camera tonight. Yes, our brain is our camera tonight. And then uh, I'll write in my little journal and I'll talk about it tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, this is where the adventures got me at. Magic. Yes, it's magic. Uh, really good energy already. I can feel it. Yeah. Um, can't wait. Can't wait for tonight. This is going to be so freaking cool. It is. I'm excited. All right, guys. I'm going to sit here and hang with Don for a little bit more, and then uh, we're going to make our way back to the camp. So it's been awesome hanging with Don and Andy. I mean, these last two weeks, really, I think yeah, I've met fun. up with you like four times. I yep. know I met up with you at least three, three, and you I met up with four. Right. So, uh yeah, yeah, it's been really freaking amazing. I'm so glad that you invited me to come because me leaving my umbrella made it not that huge of a deal. Right. <laughs> and to bring it to it you back. anyway. Right, right. And uh, timing was perfect. Timing was perfect. I got fed so well oh, here. Gosh. I had a safe place to sleep. Falling asleep to them dancing last night. It was nice. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. Um, yeah, falling asleep, falling asleep to them dancing last night was freaking awesome. And there were four tribes here? Yeah. Four, four. So it was Hoopa, um, Yurok, Yurok Weot, Weot, and Karuk. And, Karuk. and they all came out and did their, um, did their dances for healing and for um, happiness and health. It was, um, yeah, it was freaking really amazing. And that was uh, healing for one of their children? For a kid, yeah. That's for a kid. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Kid. That was, um, that was all for a kid. For all of them to come <laughs> together for a child need, uh, needing some help. Um, that wow. look on that child's yeah. face was priceless. Pretty amazing. The oh, child knew exactly what was going on, even though the child was an infant, young child. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it was a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty amazing weekend. Yeah, I stayed up until three and mm -hmm. finally went to bed. Yeah. And they were still going at it until 11. 11.30? Yeah. Almost, almost noon. Yeah. They started at dark. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to give these guys a hug, and then I'm going to make my way on. Uh, I just got to make it up to Oric. I would love to make it up there tonight, but probably not going to make it till tomorrow. We'll see. However many miles I get done today. So where I'm supposed to end up tonight uh, is actually just arrived. Let me show you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Robert came out and picked me up. What's up, guys? Hey, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. I got my package. 
And I'm going to open this up. Thank you, Michelle. Right on. So I'm going to try these out and test them. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll share some as well uh, with friends as I make my way on. And this is my awesome dinner. Courtesy of Robert. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. You're this really is freaking welcome. awesome. This is like a gourmet this is a gourmet meal. Yeah. <laughs> For ten dollars. Oh wow. For ten dollars. Wow. <laughs> right on. Right on. So it's day one fifty one, Tuesday, July second. I'm at mile eight hundred and ninety eight. And I've been here in Oric uh, for two days now. Uh, stayed to, uh, last night and the night before. When I got in here the night before, oh man, I was so exhausted. I did about 11 or 12 miles. And uh, Robert, who was out and about, uh, saw him came pick me up. Because it's his place I was coming to. Yeah, yeah, so grateful I didn't have to walk those last five miles. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I went and I stayed the night. I was so exhausted yesterday when I woke up. I woke up at 10, and, uh, oof, yeah, my body was just seizing up, and so I I knew I wasn't wanting to strap on the pack, and so I asked Robert if I can crash here for another another night, and it was no problem. Um, went ahead, and I got some laundry done. I got, got my uh, one or two of my power banks charged up, and then about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the power went out. Uh, somebody had backed up into an electrical pole and knocked out the main line that services here or here in Oric. And um, yeah, it caused a wildfire. And yeah, it took until about six o'clock this morning before the power came back on. So uh, yeah, we just kind of hung out. We went down to the creek and took the dog and then. Uh, yeah, today we took the dog back to the creek again. Well, here, look, it was so much fun hanging with these two, with these three, with these three. Uh, here, take a look. And then yesterday there was the beer fairy. So this is the beer fairy, and she comes bearing gifts good. of all kinds of beers. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, I meet the most amazing people everywhere I go. <laughs> everywhere I go. And uh, yeah, coming here was uh, really awesome. I've known Robert now for a couple of years. First time I came up through, I happened to meet him on a social app. And... Uh, He's like, wait, I never see anybody this close. And so we were chatting. I'm like, he's like, were you the guy walking by? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, were you the guy sitting outside the house that I wanted to yell across and say, hey, you guys want to smoke a bowl? But new town, new people I don't know. And yeah, I just didn't do it. Well, as it turned out, yeah, he wanted to smoke a bowl. And I camped in his backyard and I've been, uh, I've been camping in his backyard every time I come through now since. And anyway, so I get here, and they got a new place, and I'm looking around, and I'm looking around at what him and his partner, Philip, have created. They've created something really beautiful here. Um, they got a garden going, and I'm watching these two um, just share love, really, among everybody that crosses their path. It's pretty freaking amazing. Um just watching them in action, really. You know, I'm watching them tend, tend to some of um, some of my fellow humans or who've been like 
broken by the harshness of this world and I'm watching them show them love. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful because that's what's going to heal them. That's what's going to heal the broken is by showing them love, um, not fear, not hate. Um, yeah. And watching it in action. Yeah. It inspires me to become an even better person myself. And those are the kind of people I like to hang around. All right. Anyways, um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I just finally I had to rewash my clothes because of the power going out and I forgot to hang them out on a line and they got kind of musty. So, yeah, let me just, I had to rewash them. I had to recharge up my power banks because I was using them to power my phone and whatnot last night for light and music. And yeah. Uh, so anyways, I'm, my my electronics are almost all the way charged up. My clothes are on the line hanging dry. They're almost done. And uh, I'm going to get going. All right. Yeah, let me show you this. Let me show you this awesome yurt that I've um, been in for the last two nights. There's the awesome bed, my journal. Got my pack almost all ready. And there's the outside. Even got a plum tree right here. And then back over there, they got some tomato plants growing. And yeah, yeah. Cool little chimney. Fire pit. DOG. Yeah, I feel really blessed to have uh, met Robert and Philip. Uh, these two are really amazing people, and I keep meeting people like them everywhere I go. Just keep watching. I'll keep showing you. There's so much magic out here, and I continue to invite you guys to come out here and join me. Come get some of this magic, because it's not out here just for me. It's out here for you, too. All right, guys. I need to uh, finish packing up. I'm going to smoke another bowl, maybe do another dab, and then uh, be making my way on. So I'm getting ready to do one last dab session before I head on out. Alright guys, doing one last little dab. Oh, Alright, it's your hit. Come get this. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. <laughs> much love, much peace you all. <laughs>